Welcome back. Tonight, our celebration of 65 years of KERO continues. I've already introduced you to some of the talented journalists who have worked here. We showed you the studio last night, and tonight we introduce you to the department that makes it all work. For a new station to run 65 years. Good evening, Kern County. You're watching Bakersfield's News Channel. You need some talented people working magic behind the scenes. 23 ABC News at 5 starts now. Gene Greer worked at KRO-TV longer than most. So yeah, a whole lot has changed since from the day I came in the building. A lot of change over 47 years that Greer spent calling the station home. I came and started as a camera person and... Uh, just stay. <laughs> he began working behind the camera in 1968, briefly leaving KERO to make training films for the Army during the thick of the Vietnam War, then coming back to work in the engineering department and sticking around. I just enjoyed the work. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the people. I enjoyed the work. It was exciting to me. It was, it was actually fun to me. And I just found that I really just enjoyed what I was doing. The engineering department at KERO consists of engineers who install and maintain broadcast equipment and directors who direct the show and ensure that it runs like it's supposed to. They've been vital for anything to actually make it on air throughout the years, from classic shows like Cousin Herb's Trading Post to 23ABC News every morning and evening. Like my mom, she would say, you just go down there and push buttons. That's all you do. You push a button, <laughs> you push a button and something happens. <laughs> it's like, no, it's a little more to it than that. And much of their work is done without viewers even knowing that they're doing it. So I don't think people realize a lot of what goes on behind the scenes to actually, you know, get what they see on TV on the air for them to see. And what Greer saw was something many don't, a television station evolving and transforming through nearly five decades. Technology changed so much. He saw the progression to color TV as KERO became Bakersfield's first live color TV station, and he was there for the transition from film to tapes and then tapes to digital videography. Greer and the rest of the department also handling the transmitter up on Breckenridge Mountain. Good photos, and it brings back old memories. Verlin Gaines worked in the engineering department too, and he, like Greer, would have to physically stay in a cabin up at Breckenridge for days to make sure that everything ran smoothly. Now things are a little more hands-off, both on the mountain and back at the station. It's all, of course, automated now. When I was here, it was all probably six times the people and everybody was running into each other in the hallways trying to get somewhere. But that doesn't make the jobs the department does less important. In fact, with so much automation, having someone who knows how to make it all work is essential. I love the job. I love I loved what I did. And uh, and I love I love 23. It was a good good place to work. I mean, there's been a lot of good people that came through here that's been, you know, just fun to work with. Greer retired back in 2015, and as he returned to the place that he worked for 47 years, yeah. How you been? There is a couple of people still here. He said it was the people that made this place like home. You know, here was kind of my family away from my family because I, I, I come down here forever. The place he called home, now with a room named in his honor, celebrating 65 years of talent and magic behind the scenes. I feel fortunate to have worked here. It's been good for me and been good to me. Now, after retiring, Gene has been using his free time to travel. Our celebration of 65 years of KERO continues tomorrow with former Kern County weatherman Lloyd Lindsey Brown. Alison Gargaro will be bringing us that story again. That's tomorrow at 6 o'clock.